This structure has a rather complicated name. It is a Buckminster fullerene, a buckyball. It is a type of fullerene. Each of these black bits here represents a carbon. So it's another large carbon molecule. It is a giant covalent compound, just like diamond and graphene, but it has some different properties. You'll notice here that each of these carbons here in black is bonded to three other carbons. These bonds in here are double bonds and these are single bonds. Now the shape of it, it's spherical, it's made up of pentagons and hexagons and the shape of it gives rise to its properties. So like other giant covalent compounds, it has a very high melting point, high boiling point, and it's not soluble in water. Because its shape is very, very strong, which means it can be used to reinforce um, things that need to be strong, but need to be really, really lightweight. And because it's spherical, because it has this big gap in the middle here, this is what gives rise to some of its more interesting potential properties. It can be, or could be in the future rather, used for drug, drug delivery. So popping some drugs in the middle of there, attaching them, and then delivering them directly to the site where they are needed. It can also be used as a lubricant because it can be very slippery. So in chemical purposes or in electrical purposes where you need things to be smooth, where you need things to move over, this is one of the things that you could use. So here is its structure, very, very different to the structure of diamond or graphene. We have three um, carbon, each carbon is bonded to three other carbons here and it is spherical in shape.